Hi, I'm Brett from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a new sync collection in OBS using Marketplace Connect 2.0. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to download and install the Marketplace Connect for OBS plugin from elgato.com forward slash downloads, and we'll have that link down below. So to begin, I have a fresh OBS 32.02, and it should be uh, fully updated. There you go. And there's essentially nothing on here. I have no scenes in this scene collection. It's brand new. Uh, and I just have another profile for testing. So when you install it, uh, it will show up under Tools. And then it'll say Elgato Marketplace Connect. Now if I click on this, and it will bring up this new window here for the plugin. So I'm going to click Sign In. There we go. Now, once it finishes uh, loading up your products, you'll see all of the scene collections that are associated with your Marketplace account. In this case, we have quite a few here. Now, if you don't yet own any scene collections on your Marketplace account, you will be greeted by this message. However, it's as simple as clicking on Explore Marketplace. Then you can find plenty of completely free scene collections to get you started. Click on one you like, then click on Get, and this will tie it to your Marketplace account and update your plugin. Uh, now for this demo, I'm going to choose Game Face Pro. And then once we click on Install, Marketplace Connect will download the scene collection and start the wizard. Now the first part of the wizard for uh, setting up these scene collections is making sure you have every plugin that the scene collection requires. In this case, we're missing three. I believe there's one more that might be uh, required, but I probably have it installed already. So we have Move, Source Clone, and Atom Vertical. So what's really convenient is you have a, a shortcut to download it. Just click on Get, brings open your uh, browser, and then click on Download, and then download the Windows installer, which I've already done a couple times. <laughs> so make sure that you uh, download these, install them, and then restart OBS, and then restart the, um, the installation process for that scene collection. It will do the plugin check again, and then you can continue through. Okay, so all the plugins are installed now. I'm gonna go to Tools, Elgato Marketplace Connect. It'll load my profile back. Go back to Game Face Pro, and then there you go. No more uh, plugins are missing. So uh, you have two options here, create new, so it'll make a brand new scene collection with nothing uh, that you're working with already, and then merge with current. So what this does is it takes the scene collection that is currently open, it merges it with the new scene uh, collection, and then makes a new one. Uh, so you're not changing the one that you currently have um, inside of OBS. Now, if you do choose merge, you have the option of picking uh, which scenes you want. Let's say you only care about doing horizontal, you could go in here and uncheck all the vertical ones. However, I don't have an existing scene collection, so I'm gonna go back and then go to create new. You can give it a name, but it will be uh, pre-filled out with the name of the scene collection. So game face custom. Now here is where the uh, Marketplace Connect plugin is really helpful. If you have a lot of scenes where there's a lot of references to the devices, um, Marketplace Connect through this wizard will take that and then feed that into all the different places where you might have a webcam instead of manually doing it. So I'm gonna set this to none and then I'm gonna set this to Facecam 4K because this one is actually the webcam. Click continue. Now it's for the microphone. I'm just going to choose mic in, but if you have another microphone or you have um, a uh, you know, stream mix that you customized for it, you can choose that as well. And then it's going to load the scene collection in the background and you can actually see it back there. Now there is one last step involved in the import process for your scene collection, and that is for installing the required fonts. Now, unlike plugins though, they are not really required. In fact, it will default to some other font. But just like with plugins, you can click on Get, and it will open your browser to right where these um, fonts are. So if you click on Get Font, and then these are actually the two that we need. So I'll click on the Download here, and then Download here, and then Open File, and then you want to install these two fonts, uh, and then Restart OBS, and then they will be applied. Now I actually already have these fonts installed, so I will click on next. And then here is one of the really cool features for the 2.0 update for um, the Marketplace Connect plugin. And that is makers can essentially uh, add in or bake in or include 
Stream Deck actions and entire custom Stream Deck profiles. So for example, uh, right here we have a pre-made profile, Game Face Pro, and then down here we have these actions, which I will show in a moment. But let's click on Add to Stream Deck. This will open the Stream Deck application, and then you get to choose which Stream Deck. I'm gonna do Virtual 15 Keys because I essentially have a, a Stream Deck Mark II in Virtual Stream Deck. So here's the profile, and it's already laid out. It has, um, it connects to the, some of these are using the OBS plugin and some are hotkeys, all with custom icons as well. So this happens to be a hotkey, Control Shift one for the replay, um, reset, top left, top right. These, this is for moving around the webcam, which I'll show uh, a little bit later. Now, if you wanted to do something custom, you only want a couple of the features. Let's say uh, the wind counter. So I'll put reset, I drag it over to the side and it will open up the Stream Deck software again. So you just drag it over into the void and then Stream Deck comes back up. So that's our wind counter. Actually, let me move it down here. And then you can fill in some more there. Maybe you wanna control your audio or control uh, camera settings in Camera Hub, something like that. But then that is your Stream Deck. Now, if I show this and drag it over, you can see the sync collections here and they're actually moving in the background. So that is all customizable. You can see how you can import them and also uh, pick and choose whichever actions you want. And then you click on done. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is the Game Face Pro scene collection. If we go through the scenes here, you can see me uh, in the corner there. There's sort of, um, yeah, if you just had chat on the side or actually over there with a larger frame of your webcam, and then there's another that's just larger in general if you don't want chat. Be right back with that lovely animation. You've probably noticed there's a little, um, there's some blocks of text that explain a little bit more. And they're mostly referring to a little bit extra customization you need to do uh, in order to get the most out of the stream uh, collection package. Two of the uh, blocks here are talking about the vertical streaming options. So. There's uh, a few different docs here. So we have vertical scenes, sources, transitions, and vertical. And vertical actually has a separate canvas here, if I move this over. So this, once I bring over vertical scenes. So here, these are the custom uh, scenes uh, specifically for vertical. And they're entirely separate than um, the ones for horizontal. And without going into it too much, essentially, as you switch to your different scenes on your horizontal side, the vertical also mirrors that so that if you're recording or again, streaming, you don't have to manage two different um, canvases or two different streams. You just have them formatted in certain ways. So that is what the uh, two blue boxes over here are talking about. If you don't care about the, um, the vertical streaming aspects, you can just essentially delete these. So this next box here is talking about controlling the timer. So by default, it's set to 20 minutes, but if you have a particular schedule that you like to keep when starting a stream, you go up to tools, scripts, and then on the clock timer here, you can just enter what you want. Let's say it's five minutes, close. And then inside of the Stream Deck actions, you actually have the ability to start and stop that timer or rather start uh, and reset the timer. So I will reset it, start it, and then it's counting down. These are just to give you uh, kind of a heads up with this brand new scene collection. So I can delete that now that we covered that. As we go through here, uh, yes, so the super, uh, let's go ahead and change this now. This is sort of like your handle. It could be, well, in this case, username, but could it could be your Twitch, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So if we go to scripts here and then game face pro super and we scroll down we can type this in so let's just type in elgato and then you can choose the icon for um, whatever you might have on here youtube for example save text changes close and now it's updated to elgato so it's this essentially custom animation that you can update uh, however you see fit and so that is taken care of now and so there's two or maybe three other things to mention on this page. One is the win-loss counter, which you can uh, add a loss or add a win. So if you're playing 
Counter-Strike or uh, Valorant or something like that as you win games, you can click on these to trigger that. You can, however, also manually change that. If, for example, you were playing Valorant for an hour or two and then you started streaming, but you wanted to maintain um, your streak, you can get it, uh, go into Tools, then Scripts, click on Game Face Pro Counter, and then manually change, update these values if we need to. And uh, yeah, and just make sure you save changes and we'll close that. And now it's updated there. Of course, you uh, probably can't miss the giant orange message here that no game capture or video capture device is set. Go down to Gameplay Source. This is where you would choose the, the particular game that you have running. Or if you have a capture card, 4KX, 4K Pro, 4KS, Game Capture Neo, something like that, you can go in here, toggle that on, uh, and choose that from the list. And I think there is just one other thing I wanted to mention here, and that is with the Move plugin. So our virtual stream deck. And so using the Move plugin, you can move your view or your, your webcam around the scene. And this is using the Move plugin. And so you can go from corner to corner. There is one other thing to mention with the webcam here, and that is you notice this little animated border, and that's if you're not using a green screen and you just have a normal 16 by nine frame. If you are using a green screen, there is a special sort of version of uh, the webcam source uh, for green screen specifically. So it's a normal rectangle here, uh, because if you have a green screen and then you key it out and, be and it becomes transparent, then you're sort of popped out on top of uh, the game or the media or whatever you're showing. And then you're on top of this little animated platform, pretty much. Uh, so that helps, um, yeah, separate you from, from the background. But I'll switch to the normal 16 by 9 one. And then I suppose that uh, gives you a pretty good idea of what's on offer with Game Face Pro, uh, the scene collection available from Elgato Marketplace, and also how easy and simple it is to set it up with the Elgato Marketplace Connect plugin for OBS. So uh, I suppose that's it. Uh, we'll have more information in the description, more about version 2.0, uh, the release notes, and also some great scene collections to get you started. My name is Brett. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.